This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. Today, I'm in Sandston, Virginia. Today, we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath ranch home. This ranch home is located here on 7.4 acres, and it is a unique location for a few reasons. Number one is I'm getting ready to show you some waterfront property here. Uh, the home is a HUD home, and it's in need of major renovation. When a home is in need of major, major renovation, it often will not qualify for traditional financing. Uh, that is the case here with this home. However, there is a special loan that is a renovation loan, and it will allow an individual that wants to live in the home, not an investor, to purchase and then have money set aside for their renovation. Now, on this home, it's going to be a pretty good size check for the renovation uh, but that is not a problem because you can combine the purchase price and the renovation cost together into that one loan you would have a three and a half percent down payment and then you could of course close get that work done to your specifications so if there was something you wanted to do out back here and do a really nice hardscape you could do that imagine having him cook breakfast and then come out and sit and this is your view on a nice summer morning as you enjoy your croissants and your crumpets uh, this is just amazing location here it's so quiet you can probably hear the birds chirping in the background one of the things that's important when you are buying is to work with a good buyer's agent that can give you the backstory on a home every home has a backstory often it can be discovered just by doing a little research we have tools that we use and can kind of paint a picture of exactly what's going on i'll give you an example with this home it's been under contract twice and for whatever reason it did not close uh, i would of course raise my left eyebrow and say okay something's going on here uh, I can simply pick up the phone and call the listing agent and say, hey, you know, what's the situation here? I know them personally, and uh, like many of the agents here in town, uh, and they'll tell me, hey, Max, this is what happened, and take a look, make an offer, you know, keep that in mind, and let's make something happen. And that's often what we do, is to look at the current situation of a home and then move forward accordingly. Uh, here at this home, we can see our exterior does need some work. I would probably go back and redo it with some vinyl or some hardy plank. Uh, new windows. Um, it's just a major renovation that would be needed on this home. Now, the beauty of this particular property is we have got a floor plan that could really shine. We've got a nice, large primary bedroom. We've got an open layout here in this almost 2,000 square foot ranch style home okay let's go on in and take a look the government does not turn on electricity so it's going to be a little dark here in this home but we're going to do our best to make sure you see everything give you a good idea of what it has to offer now in open rooms like this fortunately the renovation cost is minimal because the only thing you're really dealing with is cosmetics you're dealing with paint the floors look great they're wood floors, they just simply need to be refinished. Uh, but you're looking at paint and maybe a little touch up with drywall. So very inexpensive for areas like this. On this, uh, as we pass through, this is going to be our family room area. We've got the nice big stone fireplace. Our double doors going to the back. Uh, our deck, of course, would need to be replaced give you a shot here it's actually a, a really good sized deck it'd be nice to enjoy that looking out over the back I'm gonna take you here to the primary bedroom wing of the home uh, before we go there this was used formerly as a laundry room uh, we've got our connections right there this is a pretty big laundry room heading to the primary I would probably reconfigure this maybe just do a closet here for the washer dryer and then use the rest perhaps for closet space uh, there are a number of different options there uh, this master or primary does have a full-blown walk-in closet here 
This, I'm gonna show you this, this is interesting. I've never really seen it done like this, but here we've got a cover. This cover would normally be flat, uh, but that blue tank, that is a pressure tank. Uh, this home is on a well system and that blue tank creates the pressure from the well so you can have, uh, of course, a nice stream going through your shower and other plumbing fixtures. Okay, we are now in the primary bedroom. Nice, large primary. You can get plenty of furniture in here. We've got a door going off to the back. This does have a gas long fireplace. Very unusual to see that in a bedroom. Not very common at all. We've got a nice, large primary bath as well. Now, notice what they did here at this vanity. Um, you know you've got a smart designer whenever you use exterior lights here next to your vanity. It's just a really uh, unique move. Uh, speaking of unique moves, look at the, the border up there. We have got an outhouse motif there for the border. And, um, you know, very thematic uh, border up there. And, and those are actually going to be coming back in style. Um, unfortunately, we are missing a shower head. However, you buy this house, you, you use me as your buyer's agent. We'll make sure that you walk away with top of the line shower head technology. All right, let's go on back through to the other end of the house and see what it has to offer. Once again, these wood floors are good sanding and refinishing, and uh, I think they would look absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to go straight through. We're going to have a powder room uh, here to our left. Give you a shot there. Now, remember, whenever they take these homes back, they will always winterize. That's why you've got that pink solution. Uh, that's antifreeze in the toilet. That it, it was not a crime scene. Uh, nothing happened nefarious here in this home. Okay, and this is going to be a uh, pantry here. As I back up, you are now in the Eden kitchen. We've got space right here for our dining table and really nice open kitchen here. We've got plenty of space for new cabinets. Uh, they actually replaced the, uh, the refrigerator there, uh, but we've got nice amount of space here to just come in and completely redo this kitchen. I imagine if somebody really wanted to open up, this wall could be open and you'd be open here to this room um, that would probably be really smart move and uh, make it a much more modern floor plan um, whenever there is a trip hazard in a government home you will see red on the floor that's what uh, that means um, once again i've had people uh, tell me that it was a crime scene and that's why the red tape was on the floor that is not accurate okay we have a linen closet there and here to the right is going to be our hall bath here for this wing uh, we do have ceramic tile uh, this tile can of course be coated so it can all be white without having to rip it out i'll just go ahead and redo the vanity we've got some pretty major work that needs to be done here to get this wall uh, back in good shape uh, this home does have a dimensional roof, but on the rear, uh, I saw that we had some moss growth. Um, so I'm not sure if it would need to be replaced, but it definitely uh, would need some attention. All right, this is going to be our largest secondary bedroom, a good sized bedroom here. This home built in 1977. And so we see some of the uh, features, uh, i.e. wood floors throughout the entire home uh, that was pretty common uh, back then. Now, you may have seen the electric baseboard in some of the rooms. What happened was when this home was built, it probably had original electric baseboards as the heat source. Uh, this line, this is called a line set. And these lines go right out underneath the crawl space to the unit that's outdoors. And you can maybe see it there. Um, that's going to be our outdoor unit. They put that in after the house was built. And they, in this case, did a really good job of strategically placing those lines. Uh, sometimes they have to do big trunks and 
other things when they don't have a crawl space to work with uh, very easily. This is going to be uh, bedroom number two, number three. Here, this is probably the most conservative of the bedrooms. This controller here is for our baseboards. Electric baseboard is actually the most expensive way to heat a house other than opening the oven and putting a fan in front of it. Fortunately, this home does have central heat and air, uh, but when it was originally built, uh, that was not the case. Um, this accordion door has seen better days. Pass through right here to the other bedroom. Uh, I would probably just go ahead and close that off unless there was a real need to uh, have access like that. Our closet here. So this is a legitimate uh, bedroom. So it's a legitimate four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Um, really impressed with the location of what you could potentially do here if you had the vision to go ahead and do a nice rehab. If you are coming from up north, just imagine uh, coming into this house, putting 100000 into it, and boom, you're complete for uh, under $350,000. Lakefront property, peace, quiet, tranquility, and a brand new rehab. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. can reach you on Facebook. Under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube. Under my name, Max Williams Real real tour. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.